Hello, uh, my name is Grace. I'm one of the rangers here in Photo Wildlife Park. It's World Lemur Day, so I'm going to tell you a little bit, a bit about the lemurs we have in Photo Wildlife Park. We have three different species in Fota. We've got the black and white ruffed lemurs, we have the ringtail lemurs and the red bellied lemurs. Uh, so the ringtail lemurs and the red uh, bellied lemurs are a bit smaller than our black and white rough lemurs. Uh, also our black and white rough lemurs and ringtails uh, are mainly just active in the daylight whereas the red bellied lemurs they are busy all the time. So all the lemurs uh, species in the world are all native to Madagascar. Lemurs here in Fota love to eat fruit and vegetables. Uh, so their favourites would be something really sweet like bananas and grapes. Uh, they also get a leaf eater pellet which is like a complete feed for them. So we give them a bit of that as well just to make sure they're getting all the nutrients they need. Um, in the wild the black and white rough lemurs would eat mainly fruit whereas our red bellies and the ringtails they kind of vary between fruit, flowers and leaves and nectar. The oldest lemur in the park is our black and white ruffed lemur mom, Cloud, and her partner is Pork and he is eight years old. But we've had uh, Pork's father, Podge, uh, lived here until he was 30 years old, so he, uh, he got quite a, a good long lifespan here in, in Fota. In the wild, they only live to about 16 to 19 years old. Our youngest lemurs in the park at the moment are Banny and Dove. They're our baby black and white rough lemurs. They were born here on the 6th of June. Uh, we also though, on our ringtail lemur island, we've had a bit of activity recently. So perhaps maybe in 135 days, we might have some baby ringtail lemurs all going to plan. Our loudest lemurs are by far are the black and white ruffed lemurs. They're actually the second loudest uh, primate in the world after the howler monkeys. At the moment, the most work goes to the red bellied lemurs. They're quite a small lemur, but they do an awful lot of poo for small lemurs and they do it everywhere. In the winter, our black and white rough lemurs are a bit more work than they would be in the summer because they like to go into their heated house a lot more to do poos. <laughs> our ringtail lemurs are the only lemurs in the park that mix with other animals. Uh, you'd see them free roaming with the kangaroos and they do actually get on quite well. Our lemurs here are extremely lucky that their houses have underfloor heating, so they are very, very toasty if they get too cold or wet. The ringtail lemurs in the wild, they travel around in big groups and when they're going through all the, the trees and the, all the overgrowth on the, the ground, they have their tails up very high and it acts as a flag so then all the group can stay together when they're, they're wandering around. No, luckily none of our lemurs swim. Uh, in the summer, a lot of our lemurs love to sleep outside in the trees and we found now in the winter when it's getting colder, they always have the option to sleep inside um, up on uh, branches we've put inside the house for them. So lemurs have a very good sense of smell um, They what they do is they have scent glands and they like to rub their scent as they're walking so they might rub it on a tree and then that will let their friend know or a rival know that they're actually nearby 
Um, so that's how they'd be communicating and kind of letting each other know where they are, is with smell. The male ringtail lemurs have a extra scent gland and what they do is they rub their tails with the scent gland and then they wave it in front of their rivals as a back off. <laughs> I'm in this area. So the red-bellied lemurs are classed as vulnerable. The black are uh, the ringtail lemurs are classed as endangered and then our black and white rough lemurs are actually critically endangered. So it's very important that parks like Photo Wildlife Park are able to breed these species um, as uh, you know a reassurance or a backup um, individuals in case there was something uh, happened out in Madagascar. So their numbers in Madagascar are getting threatened by um, I'll say hunting for bushmeat, uh, there's illegal logging and there's an awful lot of uh, deforestation uh, to make room for say farming. Uh, thanks very much uh, for listening to me and I hope I've uh, educated you on lemurs a small bit on World Lemur Day here in Photo Wildlife Park.